Hey guys, it's Hannah and this is Bookworms Talk and I am here with Megan and we are going to review the Fifty Shades of Grey movie. Mm -hmm. So this movie has a lot of hate surrounding it. Do you mm -hmm. think that the people who were hating on it were more right or do you think they were wrong? What are I don't think it's dessert. I honestly enjoy this movie a lot more than I anticipated Me that I would. I thought it was good. I liked it. Yeah, I actually did too. I went into it with very low expectations yeah. and maybe that's why I liked it. I don't know. I, I and I'm not saying like it's it. a perfect movie and there yeah. were definitely flaws. Yes, there were, like most but, movies have. Yeah. But yeah, I thought it was a good movie. I thought it was very honest to the books. It felt the way it needed to feel. Mm -hmm. feel, 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 feel. I definitely liked Anastasia, movie mm. Anastasia, so much more than book Anastasia. Yeah, you didn't like her from the books. Okay, yeah. we should say that. Yeah, we We've should. We've both read the book. Mm -hmm. I've read them multiple times. I love the books. Call them smut, call them mommy porn, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> I think they're fun stories. I mean, they're mm -hmm. not freaking Jane Eyre or anything, mm -hmm. but there's a whole hell of a lot more sex than that. <laughs> <laughs> so, in my book, that's better, right? Yeah. It's, it's just, it's a candy read. You want to know what's going to happen next. You're invested. <laughs> it's not a nutritious read by any means, but hell if it's not fun. So, this movie has gotten... A lot of criticism because yes. they're saying the sex is bland and mm -hmm. vanilla and too dumbed down mm -hmm. and too censored. Thoughts? I completely disagree with that. I think that they did it in a tasteful way. Mm -hmm. I feel like it wasn't overly explicit. It wasn't softcore porn by any means. And I think they stopped at places that they should have stopped. I don't... Okay. What are other words? Yeah, I say it was what it needed to be. Mm -hmm. Completely. Is it softcore porn? No. Do you want to watch softcore porn? Go to Pornhub. <laughs> I mean, really, that's all. If you want to yeah. watch porn, go to Pornhub. There's plenty of videos, I promise. <laughs> but, I mean, this didn't need to be that. This yeah. is a story. Yes, is sex a very big part of the story? Yeah. Absolutely. As it is with new relationships in general. But this mm. was a love story. A story about two people in a relationship, beginning a relationship, falling in love. And I think that's why those books are so loved. They're not just mommy porn, like mm -hmm. everybody wants to call them. Yeah. I mean, if that's what you want, there are hundreds of thousands Plenty. of books with naked cowboys <laughs> and or naked firemen on the covers. Go read one of those. I promise you they have not sold nearly as well as Fifty Shades of Grey. And why is that? Because that's it is true. not just about the sex. It mm -hmm. is about a relationship, and that's what made the story beautiful and interesting and engaging, is that you cared about these characters, you cared about their relationship, and... I think that was what they were focusing on in the movie, and I'm happy about that. Was it sexy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, the sex scenes were effective. They yeah. were hot. Especially, were. ooh, the one with the ice. That one was. I definitely agree. That, that was the hot. strongest one. Yeah, I liked that one where he showed up, and he just, like, walked out of her with, like, with a glass of wine. Uh-huh. Yeah. That was a good scene. It was. It was probably, but it's probably the best sex scene, I think. I think so. Mm -hmm. And you got to see a lot of boob. Yes. A little bit of pubic hair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> On both parts. On both parts. A lot of butt. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of side nakedness. I thought that was really well done, too. Yeah. Like, it was, we're not going to be really obvious about not showing that. Right. But we're still going to be very tasteful about it. I agree. So it was I mean, well done. I think a lot of sex scenes, you know, the women roll over and they're in their bra and panties. Well, that's not really yeah. accurate or honest. Mm -hmm. You're naked when you have sex, typically. Yes. And they were naked, but they weren't showing mm -hmm. just everything. And I didn't have an issue with that. I, I didn't either. I thought that it was, again, tastefully done. But it was still sexy. Mm -hmm. It was. It worked. It did. Some of the hate that's been going around about it. Yeah, let's address that okay. first. That there was no chemistry. Do you agree or disagree? Um. Hmm. I kind of, like, I there kind of... wasn't a lot of chemistry. Yeah. But I will say, I think my biggest downfall of this entire movie is Jamie Dornan. Ugh, I'm sorry, but he I, wasn't good. Yeah. No, I, I do agree with you. I've watched him in The Fall. The characters that he played in The Fall and then as Christian Grey were strangely similar. I mean, he was a serial killer in the other one, so there's that extreme there. But as far as uh, just a very like cold personality is what he was supposed to play for this character. I won't say that he's a, a bad actor just because those are the only roles I've seen him play. But I just, yeah, it felt very one note yeah. on his performance, and then he's sad. I saw the first two episodes of The Fall. Mm -hmm. I didn't like it, and I think the reason I didn't like that show at all is because all the characters, not just him, were very, very flat. There was mm -hmm. no emotion to it at all, and that definitely is true for him in this movie. Mm -hmm. He has zero emotion. Even the emotion that he 
supposed to have and yes he's supposed to be an extremely reserved character who's mm-hmm. afraid of all emotion and right. lots of repressed anger and lots of guilt yeah. and self-loathing none of that was there mm-hmm. he was just dull <laughs> yeah and one could argue that uh being cold is then portraying those things but i that don't think that's yeah. so i think that repressed be, anger is an emotion still it is and you're supposed to have a response to that you're mm-hmm. supposed to find him intimidating and mm-hmm dominating and mm-hmm. they're supposed to be kind of that, ugh, that like I want to take a step back yeah, but he was not intimidating mm-hmm. one bit I have to agree with you on that point and I don't know if it was his choice as an actor or whether it just came across that way or whether it was the producer's choice for him to seem less intimidating to maybe make him slightly less more likable or yeah something. like maybe more likable but and it didn't work yeah <laughs> if that was a choice it didn't work if that wasn't a choice it it still didn't work but you did get the idea that he, he really did her. care about yeah. her and he was changing especially when he started telling her while she was sleeping about his mother oh yeah that was that, that was, was like actually probably scene. his best scene i yeah. think i would agree with that he did have emotion in that scene so i guess mm-hmm. i was lying when i said he yeah. was cold throughout because they did take advantage of that one moment to show emotion with him i think they just should have done it more but on to anastasia you yes. did not like her in the books i i wasn't a big fan of her i, I thought, didn't have a problem with her in the books i related to her on the level of she's into english like i related to that shy introverted exactly but i didn't find her extremely complex i mm-hmm. i liked the books though i'm gonna say that i know we're talking like about a lot of uh like negative, negative things but, but here's happy i loved her i yeah. thought she was so cute she was freaking charming as hell yeah the movie mm-hmm. uh-huh definitely i she, loved her in the movie yeah just like freaking uh, when she I was watched, so charming i know when i watched the trailers i thought she was just gonna just be mm-hmm. horrible she mm-hmm. seemed so flat so just uninteresting there was no inflection to her at all there was no layers mm-hmm. it just it was like oh god this is gonna be awful i liked her and i oh, laughed yeah. at this movie so a whole often lot more than i expected mm-hmm. to it was funny. Like it she was. was funny. She was. Go baby. I don't know. I know, right? And they were like in these really small moments, not in these ways where I'm obviously trying to be funny here, like ha right. ha. No. It was I'm silly. just silly and silly. I, and yeah. yeah. And she, I think, definitely stole the show. She like did. hands down. Mm-hmm. I've never seen her anything before, and so I again had very low expectations mm-hmm. for her. I was blown away by her performance. I really was too. I. I mean, was she, like, the greatest actor ever? No. But she definitely was effective. Like, mm-hmm. everything that she, she was, was very she effective. was effective in that role, and it worked, and it was funny and cute, and I liked it. <laughs> I definitely <laughs> So, some of the, the side supporting cast. Yeah, supporting, supporting cast. <laughs> Let's talk about some of the supporting cast. Mm-hmm. Um, I had a few issues, some mm-hmm. that I really, really liked, and some that I was like, oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> Jose, it swear <laughs> to god, looked like they pulled him out of Napoleon Dynamite or a hobbit hole. I don't know what they were thinking with him. <laughs> he uh, was bad. He was. It was, it felt, it felt so Twilight in the beginning, which, I, I, we were talking and we kind of feel like maybe it was like a nod to yeah. it, and it was supposed to be purpose. And I, yeah, I'm not mad about that. It didn't, yeah. I didn't get the Twilight quite I got it. she did. But if that was, inten- I mean, if that was there intentionally, I think that's actually kind of cute to say, mm-hmm. we know this is Twilight fan fiction and we're not ashamed of it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, he was weird looking and not, he I mean, he's supposed to be cute and into her and somewhat of a competition mm-hmm. for I her. never even saw them make eye contact other than that one time he was trying yeah. to kiss her outside of the bar. Yeah. Not it once. Just, it, it was completely an afterthought. I it think. was. Um, but Kate, I thought she was cute yeah. as well. But <laughs> As far as the way she was described in the books, mm-hmm. I think they cast her very well. Mm-hmm. I thought she was funny and sweet, and yeah, I liked her. I, I really did too. She was very charming and witty, and kind of just yeah. like mm, I see she what's felt going like on. a best friend. She felt yeah, like a best friend. She and did. Yeah. Taylor, I thought he Taylor. was. He was good. <laughs> she loves I, him. I, so I don't know. Maybe I, I want him to be my Christian. <laughs> <laughs> he was hot. He should have been Christian Grey instead. But he was good. Mm-hmm. The other, the other casting choice that just did make me cringe. Marcia Gay Harden. Yeah. Yeah. That was weird. I like her as an actress. Yeah, I, mean, I think she's fantastic. Mona Lisa Smile, Meet mm-hmm. Joe Black. I mean, she's done some beautiful, mm-hmm. beautiful roles. This was not one of them. This <laughs> yeah. was weird and just awkward. It, it, yeah, it did. It felt very awkward and kind of detached. And it just it it felt didn't like feel a, like a motherly character in the way that I think it meant to. 
Yeah, and she felt like a snob and a hat. Yeah, she did. She came off like she was like straight off the boat with from England with like a tea and crumpet in her nose in the air. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that was supposed to be. Mm -hmm. She's supposed, in the book. She's supposed to be very motherly, sweet, uh -huh. down to earth, not at all pretentious, mm -hmm. um, not at all affected by Christian's fame or fortune. But she came off snobby as hell. The sex, I didn't have a problem with being where it was. I think mm -hmm. it, it went as far as it needed to go. Yeah. And it wasn't overused. It wasn't mm -hmm. stepped away from either. Mm -hmm. I think the one thing that they did shy away from that was to the detriment of the overall film was his brutality. I agree with you there. Um, and a lot of people are going to well, what I've heard and have seen on websites, people think that this novel and this movie is about abuse. It's not. No. If you watch the movie or read the books, you'll see that it's between two consenting adults. They have a contract, they have rules, they have hard limits and soft limits, and they, it's rules. And it's a safe relationship in where if you say no, no means no, and it's not they're going to continue to do what right. you're not wanting them to do. Okay. And I think people who are hating on this and calling it abuse is almost discriminatory to that uh, part of the society who does have relationships like this. And I've also heard people who have said that yeah. people who have relationships like this are like so ashamed of this movie because they're not accurately representing it. And I want to throw out there that one, this is it's a fiction fair. book. It is not meant to be this informative thing. It's... It's a book, and it's a story. It's yeah. fiction about these two characters. And so. I'll also throw in to that. Mm -hmm. It is not one book's responsibility to accurately mm -hmm. represent or portray an entire subculture. Yeah. It is not their responsibility to do that. Does it portray a couple that is involved in BDSM? Yes. But that is one couple mm -hmm. with their experiences of it, and it's fictional, yes. But it is not people who are saying, oh, this is like a... A, a bad way is like portraying all BDSMs as abused and mm -hmm. flawed and whatever. It's one, yeah, yeah a portrayal it's of one, one man mm -hmm. who had these experiences and this is, yeah, it's, How it's his story. It's, it is not this story's responsibility to accurately portray all BDSM couples. Exactly. I feel like in the movie they were afraid of making him again seem very brutal and so I think they shied away from that on purpose. Well I honestly yeah I think they didn't go far enough yeah. with it. I think the parts where he spanks her mm -hmm. it was way too playful and not yeah. I feel like what made him interesting as a character is where he came from his his history and why he felt the need to behave in these situations mm -hmm. or the, in this manner why he felt the need to do these things right and there are reasons and mm -hmm. they're intense reasons mm -hmm. and every time that that came up it felt safe and yeah i mean and it, not that it shouldn't it, it was consensual and yeah that's very and important. it should feel safe in that way but yeah but it felt too playful yeah and not like it was coming from the place that it was supposed to be coming from mm -hmm. within him mm -hmm. there was an anger there was a self-loathing mm -hmm. that just wasn't there it wasn't and all. so every time he spanked her other than the very last scene yeah more or less that that mm -hmm. last scene with the with the belts yeah if you've seen it if you haven't I'm not giving up too much away to kind of go back to the first time that he spanked her which that was very playful yeah um i think that she probably should have had a stronger reaction I to agree. that i felt like it was too Oh, too well, tame. okay. It was too tame. Yeah, yeah. it really... And really not was. that the sex was too tame, that's not what this is about. But yeah, I really don't think that the self-loathing aspect was very present with him, because mm -hmm. I do believe it is an emotion, and yeah, it can be cold, but there should also be... It's an intense emotion. It is, exactly. And I think that they really missed an opportunity in this movie to kind of give his own story with this. Whereas uh, in the book, we see everything from Anastasia's perspective, mm -hmm. and so in the movie, they had the perfect opportunity to say when he goes and works out, like, that's his time, and they could have shown that emotion then, because I right. understand that he's a very closed off and almost reclusive character. He doesn't want to show emotion, especially to other people. Mm -hmm. So I think that his alone time would have been the perfect place to show, like, how he's stressed or angry or right. sad or to something. To show that level of intensity. Exactly. Well, he is so angry all the time, and he does mm -hmm. just hate himself so much. Mm -hmm. um, but having said that, I do, yeah, I, I thought... The sex was fine and good and effective. Yeah. Um, I thought it did lack chemistry, but it was still... Effective. That's yeah, just a good it, word for it. Yeah. It was effective. What were our favorite scenes? One mm -hmm. of my favorite scenes 
was that part where she said, the way you want to, like, the way I feel about you wanting to punish me is the way you feel about me touching you. And I think that was such an important thing, is that she did not want to feel, like, she wasn't afraid of the sexual aspect of Mm -hmm. it. She didn't want the idea of him wanting to punish Punish her. her. Your favorite scene was my favorite scene, too. That was one of my favorite scenes. Oh, was one of? Okay. And I know you you, you had some issues. I loved the negotiating scene in the boardroom, the business meeting. Yeah, I did. I, I thought love it was funny. That. It was funny. Mm-hmm. And like, you were, <laughs> why was it so dark? <laughs> <laughs> it was really beautifully shot. That's something to kind of add into this. I loved how it was shot. Yes. It was very, very, very well done. I agree. And so when they're like negotiating the terms of the contract, and it's this setup of like this glass table, it's very sleek. She's at one end, he's at one end. And they're kind of having a little bit of this banter back and forth. That was probably one of my favorite scenes for her. Yeah. But it was completely dark in there, short of like the backdrop being like this ombre orange and black. And I was like, it looks really cool, but why is it this dark? Because he's trying to seduce her. That's uh, like the entire point. He's like trying to get her to sign those contracts. He's doing everything he can to seduce her. That makes her. sense now that I remember <laughs> this. And then she's, oh, I can't say that. That would be spoiling. But yes, no, it makes sense now that you say that. Yeah. It makes plenty. And like, and I think one of my other favorite scenes is, which I touched on before, is when he, she sends him the email, which we need to talk about the email. Oh, yes. Um, Gotta do that. She sends him the email, it was nice knowing you, and he shows Mm -hmm. up in her apartment with that. And I don't know, I loved that scene too. I thought Mm -hmm. that was a great scene. But it's him trying to seduce her. It's him Mm -hmm. using what he knows how to do, which is sex, Mm -hmm. to get her to do what he wants her to do. He's doing everything he can to try to... I didn't think about it like that deep on that level, but no, that makes Mm -hmm. plenty of sense now that you explain that. Emails. Okay, so in the books, Mm -hmm. I think one of the best parts of the books are the email and text correspondence between the two of them. 100% agree. I love, those are hilarious. They were, and there are like signs, something sassy every time, like sometimes a different thing, and it was... It was really witty, and I feel like that's very where funny. Anastasia felt like she could even be a little more sassy than mm-hmm. she normally can, just like in person. Yeah, and I felt like they didn't do that in the movie, they and they lost have, an opportunity. Yeah, they had a few emails, yeah. they had text messages, and they would show it up on the screen, like the little bubbles, which I liked. But everything that made those emails, that correspondence in the books, so beautiful and so amazing and so funny was just gone. I yeah. think they, they missed an opportunity to show that playful side for both of them because mm-hmm. he was actually funny in those He was too. too. Like really Not the only funny. time that I liked him in the books. <laughs> the first book at least. Yeah. I really didn't like him in the first book. I got used to him in the second. And that reminds me of the scene that was both of our favorite scenes when she starts asking him like, why are you like this? Mm-hmm. Like, why can't I touch you? What are those burns? Like, are they burns? And she was just kind pushing. of pushing, yeah. pushing, pushing. And that made me really appreciate her. And I feel like that is probably the most important scene of the movie, in yes, my opinion. I agree. because She challenges him, like, 100%. She pushes back. Mm-hmm. She challenges him. Exactly. And as much... And I think that's the entire point of the books, is mm-hmm. she's not nearly as meek as he wants her to be. Mm-hmm. And she does have self-respect. Mm-hmm. And she does care about herself and what she wants. And she's mm-hmm. not going to just give those things up. As much as, like, sometimes she does make compromises for him, mm-hmm. but that's... That's a relationship, yeah. and that's honest. Like you do make compromises mm-hmm. to make the other person happy, and that address that you know is addressed in the books, and it was addressed here. Mm-hmm. And I think that if they hadn't addressed that, the movie really would have just fell mm-hmm. flat. But they did, and I applaud them for that. Right. So <laughs> the music, yeah. the music. I thought it had a really good soundtrack. There were mm-hmm. some great songs in it. There were like one or two I didn't like, but for the majority, yeah. I, I did. I like. thought they did a really good job with the mm-hmm. soundtrack. Um, but I will say the the score, the kind of mm-hmm. instrumental music that was over the dialogue and over different scenes, mm-hmm. was not so great. <laughs> there, it was very I think distracting it was too... in some sections. Mm-hmm. It was too loud, mm-hmm. like the the instrumental was way too loud, mm-hmm. and it didn't necessarily match the mood of what the scene was supposed to be. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I think there was only really one or two times, and I think they were both sex scenes uh, that I had kind of that. This is, doesn't match perfectly, or it was, again, too loud. Uh, but yeah, it was both during the sex scenes. First time in the Red Room, I think they had, like, this opera-ish type of music. Yeah, like, weird. there wasn't a verbally, like, opera sung, but it was very opera feeling. Yeah. But I know what they were going for, um, and so I, I understand it. They were probably trying to make this as classy as they could. They were trying for art. more art-housey kind of vibe to it. I think, in some ways, they were trying to 
appeal and appease those people. I think so too. I think they were very aware that it could be read that way. And I think they tried to like sprinkle things here and there throughout the movie to kind of make it more art healthy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but I don't think, did it work all the time? No. Was it ever distracting? Not necessarily, but if, if some of the, some of the music was a little distracting. Slightly. I mean, it wasn't something where it's like, oh my God, I'm rolling my eyes. Yeah. This is too much. Like it was just kind of like, I'm critiquing very particularly yeah. here. The things that they included from the mm -hmm. books were great. The things that they took out were also good choices. Mm -hmm. They made good choices. Um, like it was true to the books, it was. but it took out some of those really cringe-inducing, I don't like this kind of scenes. Mm -hmm. The inner goddess, some of like, yeah. the, that scene. And I mean, all books are bound to have this. We're not yeah. trying to just hate on the books. Like I, I mean, love the book. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I will freely admit it. I mm -hmm. love them. I mean, there are aspects of my own book where I'm just like, I need to delete that. <laughs> <laughs> but as easy as this could have gone cringy, eye rolly, it never did for me. And yeah, that's saying a lot because mm -hmm. I'm quite picky and very easy to <laughs> cringe and eye roll. She but, really is. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't have that with this. No, I, I really didn't either. I think the only thing was later, baby. But I think that's, you explained <laughs> yeah. that to me in the car. And I was like, oh, that makes a lot more sense now. At first, and in the book, I read it this way too. Uh, Elliot was home over our first night uh, mm -hmm. with Christian and Elliot and Kate are together in the living coitus. room. <laughs> That's such a weird word. <laughs> After fucking. <laughs> I like better. that better, yes. <laughs> um, and he's, yeah, kissing her mm -hmm. and giving her, you know, all like. the sexy goodbye time. Mm -hmm. um, and it's very affectionate. It's mm -hmm. very, very affectionate. And she's standing there with Christian who won't even let her touch him mm -hmm. and is very cold and very closed off. And she is envious of mm -hmm. that kind of affection that yeah. she sees between Kate and Elliot. And he sees that she's envious mm -hmm. and that it's hard and he can't give it to her. So it's just a small way for him to say, like, it's a little something because Elliot said that to Kate when he mm -hmm. left and then, so he did that. And so now I understood it because at first I was like, why are you stealing it from your brother? I don't understand. <laughs> it's just, but no, that makes so much sense now. And now I really do appreciate that little aspect of it. Yeah, it's just him saying, I get it and I wish I could and later's baby. If you are a fan of the books, would you recommend the movie? Yes. I agree. I yeah, think absolutely. if you liked the books, you're going to like the movie. Mm -hmm. If you're wanting softcore porn, this isn't it. <laughs> Pornhub. But <laughs> it's still a really good movie, and it's sexy. Mm -hmm. The chemistry does fall a little flat, but... It's not the worst chemistry I've yeah. ever seen. I've seen much, much, yeah. much, much worse. If you have not read the books, are you going to like this movie? Hmm. I say probably not. Yeah, I, I kind of, I'm leaning towards that way. Yeah. I think if you're curious about it or maybe you're just like hesitant to reading the books, you're probably more likely to, but if you're going into it with no idea what this is, yeah. I, I'm not sure that you would like it. And if you're already, if you have a notion in your head that this is awful, this is a horrible yeah. example of sex and relationships and love, and you're just going to condemn it anyways, but you're going to just give it the benefit of the doubt and go in and watch this, you're, no. Yeah. You have to go into it understanding mm -hmm. that this is a consensual relationship between two people who are adults mm -hmm. who genuinely care about each other in the ways that they know how. I think maybe my biggest gripe is that he was just never, he never felt intimidating and he never yeah. seemed to have that, that anger and that self-loathing that epitomized that character in the books. 100% mm -hmm. agree. Overall, did you like the movie? Hells yes. Hells yes. Hell yes. <laughs> I did. I thought it was I did good. I did too. It's by no means this groundbreaking no. masterpiece of a film, but it, it, was, was, fun. it was fun. It yeah. was enjoyable. You wanted to see what would happen next mm -hmm. and what they would keep and what they wouldn't keep, and it was enjoyable. I wasn't bored once. I wasn't either. I think that's a success of a movie. If yeah. you're still interested, you're excited for the next one, and you were never bored. I agree. I liked it. So that is about it for this video. I have plenty of other Fifty Shades of Grey related videos that I will link to down there in the description. And I will see you guys later next time on Bookworm Stock. Bye! I don't, I don't think there was any singing, was there? No, I don't think. Oh, I mean, it was like a voice, but it wasn't But not like, like words. words, it was just kind yeah. of like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> we have to pose for a thumbnail Ugh. afterward, too. I really suck at posing. I do, too. Like, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, hey. You say that, and the only thing I can think of that's appropriate to this is sex noises, and that's just not happening. <laughs>